Welcome back to our channel. Now we are on uh, paper V question two. Okay, question two. Look at the set. Okay, this set. Uh, look at with the paragraph introduction here. The economy of Turkey has uh, faced a number of challenges okay, since 2018. Okay, foreign investor have uh, sold their financial assets. Oh, no. Leave this country. Such a bonds and stock. Turkey currency. Uh, the Turkish uh, era. Nira has uh, depreciated, yeah, while inflation has risen sharply. However, the economy uh, has uh, somehow managed to grow. Oh, that's good. Turkey has a strong business culture with a large proportion of the population uh, aspiring to be entrepreneurs. It has also uh, beneficial from uh, supply chain uh, constraints in other parts of the world, okay, which have created opportunity for Turkey's uh, firm. Okay, it's just a set, okay, but actually I can tell you. Users to our discussion. Sorry, I apologize. Sometimes that they don't read it. Okay, so what you should do is uh, not don't read it from the start. Okay, read the question. Okay, using the information uh, in table two. Okay, calculate the real GDP per capita in Turkey's year. Real GDP where well, oh, are 2031. Okay, 2031. So here 2031. Okay, okay. Real GDP per that i.e. this is the gross GDP per capita. What's the real one? Okay, so it had to be divided by the GDP inflator. Yeah, yeah, divided by this thing. Okay, and then uh, of course uh, divided by divided by hundred again. Okay, <laughs> so bring out your calculator, find the results. Okay, welcome back. What is the result? Okay, so it's seven thousand and two hundred and seven over. Two pawns because over a hundred. Okay, three, five, two. Okay, make it easy. Okay, and then the calculation you got it is the three thousand and sixty four. Okay, I prefer you have the one uh, decimal two, so point two. Okay, so remember copy the units. Okay, the unit is a billion TRY. Okay, billion TRY or capital letter. Okay. Two, using the information in the table to uh, calculate the Turkey's uh, wage of inflation. Wage of inflation uh, for 2022, okay? 2022, okay? So compare with the previous one, right? The most important thing is uh, always this is a change, okay? Over the original one. So how to calculate? Pause the video for a while. Okay, come back, okay? What's the result, okay? So calculate this uh, 1,000 and... Three okay, minus three five hundred fifty eight point seven. Now be careful. The most important thing is over what over original although are uh, very small, so this very significant. Okay, so this is the inflation rate, crazy seventy nine on five percent, very big, but the paragraph said it is big. Okay. So we have done uh, for A1 and A2. Well done, okay? Maybe we can move on for V2, okay? Okay, I just did all the thing, okay? Did all the thing, and let's see uh, the, the fee, okay? The fee is like this, okay? Using the information, okay? Look at the question first. Using the information uh, in table V2, it will share your answer. I would like why GDP data is often presented with an adjusted PPP. Actually, let's talk about what is uh, adjusted by PPP, okay? You explain it and then you just say the big difference, right? Don't say which one is better, okay? Big difference, so make sure you have to use the PPP one, okay? So first of all, you have to show up to people what is the PPP. PPP measure what, okay? Then first of all, you have to say here, your PPP, okay? PPP, uh, remember, measure the purchasing power of a real products or a basket of real products. So it measure the purchasing power, okay? Not just money, money, purchasing power, how much goods you can buy, okay? Purchasing power for a goods or a, actually should be for a basket of goods, okay? Yeah, make sure it's, it's about buying. How much thing you can buy actually, not about money, nominal one, okay? Okay, and then you can say uh, if your GDP is measured by it, I can measure 
the people they are always their purchasing power. So you can see clearly this thing a real GDP per capital PPP. So resident or people's a real purchasing power, okay? And real purchasing power is uh, really related to the living standard, right? Not just about nominal money, okay? So it is better, and then uh, but uh, when you say so, okay, you didn't uh, refer to table fee. So what is the last step you need to do to refer to it? Then you can say, say that ah, oh, big difference, okay? Yeah, there's a big difference between these two data. So if you use the GDP per capita, the real one, not PPP, then you maybe you underestimate or overestimate the economy, the people's uh, wealthiness or living standard, okay? Okay, okay, we finish, okay. Then we move on for next part, okay? See you.